Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. So, the invasion video went up a couple of days ago now, and people seem to really like that, and there's been a lot of clamoring for more invasions, and perhaps better invasions, because I only won one of those invasions that I did in the last video, and that was from potentially a guy falling down the stairs, or getting killed by the mimic. So, uh, I am using my actual... Well, I shouldn't say actual, because I have a lot of quote-unquote PvP type characters, but this is the one I use mainly. His name's Dark Bro. Say hello, Dark Bro. Hello, everybody. Not a very Dark Bro-ish voice. Uh, before we start invading here, let's talk about his equipment a little bit. This is obviously the Silver Knight armor. I think it's upgraded. Yeah, it's all plus five. Uh, Mask of the Father, which gives us a, a little bit of uh, extra equipment load. Just for kicks, though. I just like the way it looks. Four weapons. Uchi Katana plus five. Sorry, Lightning Uchi Katana plus five. Uh, so kind of similar to the weapon that we were using with um, Thorn Forge. Uh, we also have a Life Hunt Scythe, plus three. This is a weapon you can get, sort of, from the Painted World. Uh, this is cool because, let me equip this here for a second. Uh, pull this out. See if there's any enemies that I can kill here to demonstrate. This inflicts uh, a large bleeding effect on an enemy, but it also inflicts, like, 80% of the bleeding effect that it inflicts on them, it inflicts on you as well. So you have to be very careful with the way you attack with this. So one second. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. You know, let's go back to this bonfire for a second. I think I've demonstrated basically how the life on scythe works. It does a fair amount of damage, but mostly it's the bleeding effect. If your bleeding meter fills up, it takes off 50% of your health. Not 50% of your remaining health, 50% of your max health immediately. So that's a cool weapon to pull out in PvP because people don't expect it. For my shield, this is the blood shield. You can't really get a good look at it there. What about here? There you go. That raises my resistances, so it's particularly useful used in conjunction with the Life Hunt Scythe, because it means I take less bleed meter fill up than, uh, than the person that I hit. Hopefully, depending on their armor. And of course I got the Pyromancy Flame as well. Pretty much the same attacks, Great Chaos Fireball, Combustion, and Fireball. But, let's just start invading here. This is all equipment, by the way, that you can pretty much get before Anor Orlando. Or sorry, I should say before um, this bonfire that you're at right here. And the reason I like to do that, I could have, like, technically endgame here, or endgame gear here, but I kind of like to be a fair invader, and invade people with equipment that they could have, at least if they knew what they were doing. The only thing that might not be considered kind of kosher for here is that Mask of the Father. That doesn't really give us that much of an advantage, but you can technically go to the Catacombs before you go to Anor Orlando, but it's just probably not a good idea. And there's another few uh, upgraded weapons I have that I'll probably try to try out over the course of this video. Oh man, that was bad. My parrying skills, not what they used to be. You can see I, I still do a lot of damage to this guy. I've been getting a lot of invasion fails recently, so I'm hoping that that is not the case this time. In any case, let's try this. We'll spam this red eye orb one more time. Failed to invade, of course. Now you might notice I have a, a lot of humanity and a lot of souls in this character. This is pretty much just from Dark Broing here, or Dark Wraithing, in An Orlando, because every time you succeed, you gain one loose humanity, and every time you don't succeed, uh, all you have to do is go back to your bloodstain and you'll recover all of your humanity, so really not a, a big deal in the least. Let's try to get a little bit more practice using our life on scythe here. I forgot I killed that guy already. So we'll come out and try to goad this Black Knight or Silver Knight here into attacking. I really love the, the two-handed R2 on the Life Hunt Scythe. Does a lot of damage, inflicts a lot of bleed, and beyond that, it's just fast. It should stagger this guy. Oh, maybe not. I'll just kill him on this one then. That was easy. I've been getting a lot of failed invasions recently, and uh, I've heard, actually, on uh, you know the Dark Souls subreddit that invasions have been a little bit off the past few days. Which is weird, um, because it worked fine in my one video, but last night I was doing some practice invasions, you could say, and it didn't work out so hot. Failed to invade again. Well, you know what? I'm gonna just basically spam the invasion button, and... Oh, one thing I should mention beforehand. This is the red eye orb, not the cracked red eye orb, so I do have unlimited invasions with this. So what I like to do is actually invade and drop cracked red eye orbs. For people that might not be in the dark crates, so, you know, they can get a chance to invade too. Because there's only like ten of them spread throughout the entire game. So, you know, dropping five of them is a pretty big deal. But anyway, I'm going to start editing now that I've talked about my character but can't seem to get an invasion. So, I will see you guys when the first invasion starts. Alright, looks like we have invasion number one starting here. Uh, let's put my Uchi Katana 
as my main weapon again. I like to kind of jump in and surprise them with the, uh, the Life Hunt Scythe. Because you can turn to it really quickly and they usually don't expect it. And it's a really fun weapon to use on people that don't have any kind of like bleed resistant gear. We'll see how that works. Okay, so there's the guy. Boom comb. Boom cum. Boom cum. And again, if you're watching this and you find yourself in this video, hopefully I don't say anything too offensive to you. I think I'm a pretty nice guy and I tend to fight pretty fair, but you know, just let me know. I'll compensate you, not with like real life money, but you know, summon me into your game and I'll, I don't know, drop some humanity for you or some Titanite or something. My pleasure, really. So I'm guessing that boom comb, boom cum, I feel weird saying that, is in here, but it's kind of hard to tell. There's one royal sentinel. That archer over there is dead already. Which means that he has probably been over there. Well, certainly been over there, really. So I'm going to go check nearby where the blacksmith is. Now, you got to be really careful fighting a host near an NPC like this blacksmith. Because uh, this blacksmith is super important within the game, right? Like, he gives you the lightning weapons. He can turn the boss souls into chaos weapons like Quelog's Fury Sword, stuff like that. But, uh, if he, if you're fighting him near the blacksmith, he can attack the blacksmith, aggro him, and not be able to use him for the rest of the game. Which would be a serious dick move, I've seen it done on YouTube, not really my style. I prefer to fight fair, you know, but that is definitely something that can be done. I don't have any sound either, so it's a little bit difficult to fight. Here, okay, okay, he's come through here, clearly. Oh, there he is! Hey, what's up, man? Okay, don't come at me, I want to bow to you. Let's, he's, he's, okay, bow. He's gonna slash me, isn't he? It looks like he's, uh, coming at me. Alright, now if I could get him to, like, not attack for a few seconds, I would definitely drop some cracked red eye orbs for him, but sadly, this doesn't seem to be the case. That's alright, though. I'm trying to see what he's wielding. Definitely greatsword, eagle shield, and Havel's armor with, uh, maybe the iron helm. Hard to tell. Uh, that's a pretty common setup for PvP, definitely. Just, this is a... a kind of character that you see a lot when you invade, particularly Havel's armor and a greatsword. The reason greatsword's popular is because it staggers you very quickly. So if you don't have a lot of poise in your armor, which I actually don't, he will uh, be able to like hit me once with an R2 from that greatsword, and then hit me again, and it should stun lock me. But I don't know if he has the stamina to uh, spam his greatsword attack. So I should be able to win this one, really. He's gonna probably try to heal here in a second. He's fine by me, take your time. Oh no, he died. Well, bow to you. I finally won an invasion on camera. I am the greatest. I am in the top 80% of Dark Souls players. Only 20% of you are worse than me at this game. Wow, he was a high level too. You can tell by the number of souls I get. Usually it's around like 1,000, 1,500, but that was 2,700. So this guy's probably like, uh, well, my character is level 48, so he might be like level 60. Anyway, that's cool. Take a drink of water here as we prepare. You know, you gotta keep hydrated when you're doing invasions like this. So we'll search for another world to invade. Not sure if it's gonna happen right away. If it does, then no editing required. But if it doesn't, again, I will see you guys in a second. Alright, we got another invasion. And I'm already in a pretty bad spot because I was fighting a silver knight as it went down. But hopefully I can heal up to full uh, before this happens. Yep, okay, awesome. What was the last guy's name? Boom Cum. You, uh, you want to know that just in case you invade him again. Be kind of dickish to kill him twice in a row, but, you know, shit happens. <laughs> so, Torquare, or Torquare, I don't know. Take a look. Look in the standard spots. Again, this would be really annoying if you guys can, like, hear him. Like, you can hear his armor moving around, but I'm just trying to find him by sight. It's like reverse daredevil. Uh, and hopefully I'll get lucky here. Uh, let me just think about where he might be. I'm gonna go, I guess, straight to the uh, the corridor where I always go right off the bat. Usually that's a pretty good indication of where they are. Not always. Yeah, see that archer is dead and looks like both of the royal sentinels are dead, at least one of them. So he's probably standing on these staircases over here. Or on this staircase over here. No? Okay. I'm confused. Ah, what a dick. Looks like he probably just went back to his Xbox dashboard. Torqueware, your insolence has been displayed for all to see. I hope you're aware of that. Oh, we got another invasion happening here. And again, I'm fighting a Silver Knight. That's alright. Uh, even if I invade with a little bit lower health than normal, I think we'll be okay. 
I could always pop a humanity if I need to. What I should really do is just stop trying to farm those silver knights in conjunction with uh, invading, but oh well. Ah, oh, Dark in Orlando. Probably my least favorite place to invade. For those of you who don't want spoilers, I would skip ahead about a minute. Basically, there's an optional boss uh, that you can fight in Anor Orlando. I'm not sure if... I haven't decided if I'm going to fight him over the course of this Let's Play. Uh, and if you defeat him, it turns An Orlando dark. And the problem with dark An Orlando is that I can never fucking find anybody in it. I'm not sure why, because apparently dark An Orlando is a good place for PvP. But I can never seem to find anybody in it. Oh god, except for this guy. With his flaming... Shottle. <laughs> oh, it goes through the shield. It hurts. It hurts so bad, Daddy. How am I going to do this? Uh, life hunt scythe. Go to town on his ass. This is going to be all out fucking war right here. Don't spam me with sorceries, you big jerk face. Get out of there. Get out of oh, the shottle. This is not good for me. Uh, let's run in here. I have no stamina left. He can probably just stab me in the back. I'm not going to pop a humanity, and the reason for that is that this is done. Like, this battle is over. But anyway, let's see if he can get... Where is he, anyway? Now I'm scared, for real. Oh, there he is. Okay, come on, bro. Fire Shottle. What an interesting uh, build. I've never seen that before. That's what uh, Lautrec uses. And the R2 attack for that actually goes through your shield, so you gotta be careful. I'm not sure what he popped there, but it scares the shit out of me. Oh, it's green. He's got <laughs> stamina regen now. This guy was definitely waiting for PvP. That's fine. Good on you, man. That was actually really good. Took me by surprise. What a, what a weapon combination. I did not expect that at all. So now I've got to recover my blood stain. We'll probably be fine now. I mean, be fine as in not lose any humanity and souls. We definitely got fucked up there. And that's, you know, a lot of the times, that's how invasions in Dark Souls go. They go, like, one of two ways. Either you invade somebody who's using, like, the Drake Sword, and you're probably going to kill them. Well, depending on your skill level, of course. I'm not saying I'm, I'm fantastic at this game. But certainly if I invade someone with a Drake Sword, like, nine times out of ten, I'm going to expect a fairly easy victory. Or you're gonna invade somebody who's like, whoa, what kind of what kind of weapon is that? I've never seen that before. In which case, you are probably gonna die because you don't know its move set. You just don't really have the the knowledge to get you into college, if you know what I mean. So we'll search for another world to invade. And I oh, well, that was quick actually. Hopefully, it's not the same guy. Otherwise, this is just gonna become a montage of me getting fucking stomped in Dark Anor Orlando. Now, usually when you get a quick invasion like that, it might be the same guy. We'll see, though. I'm hoping not. How am I going to take this guy out if it's the same guy? Uh, look like he... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Eliti? Was that him? I can't remember. But the odds of two Dark Anor Londos in a row is pretty low. And these Silver Knights are still alive, so I'm guessing it's, it's pretty much the same guy. You know, we'll try the Life Hunt Scythe again and uh, just see if we can get lucky. I wasn't expecting him last time, which was part of the problem. So we'll come up through here. Hopefully not be taken by surprise. Ah, okay. <laughs> I thought he might have been behind this. One of the reasons I hate Dark Anor Orlando is because, like, Anor Orlando is great for PvP normally. Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's the same guy for sure. He's, oh, he did, like, the come at me gesture. I just want to bow to him. Oh, he wants to fight in this big courtyard, or, or big, uh, room, I guess. I guess this is pretty badass. Is he gonna bow? I can't tell what he's doing. Oh, he's using his, uh, stamina regen again. And coating his shuttle in fire, okay. That must be charcoal pine resin. Alright, let's do this, motherfucker. Might not be so much commentary on this. This is a close battle. Okay. He's trying to parry my scythe. Which scares the shit out of me because it means this guy knows what he's doing. Should probably go back to the Uji Katana because that's a little harder to parry. Alright. We're, we're doing alright here. But remember, he can heal. And it's going to be very difficult for me to stop him from healing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh fuck. Well, that was quick. That was kind of a better fight though. I like this guy. He bow? What's he doing? Kneeling down, 
praying, kissing the floor. He seems like a nice guy anyway. I don't know. For a guy that's basically a mass murderer, I imagine. Certainly not a bad chap. Alright, got another invasion. You know, I, I'm enjoying the duels with this Dark and Orlando guy because it's actually probably improving my skills a little bit. But it's also frightening me and I want to get another victory. Otherwise, on camera I would be like, what, 1 in 8 in invasion so far? But we're probably going to run into... Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's a different guy, Benzim. Or Benzim 3. Never sure if that 3 is supposed to be an E or an actual number 3. So, we'll probably get stomped again. Anyway, as I was saying before, Dark Anna Orlando kind of pisses me off because it's hard to see. One of the reasons I love real Anna Orlando is because, or for invasions anyway, you can see like really easily where you're going and where the uh, enemy might be, but here, everything's bathed in like this turquoise hue. Makes it difficult to see what's going on. Is that him right there? Um... I'm really confused what's going on here. <laughs> okay, there's the host. I, I think, but what is up with those two guys just standing there? Those might be phantoms in Chameleon? Whoa! Okay, he definitely sees me. And oh god! I think they were phantoms and chameleon. Well, I don't know. This is fucking confusing, man. I'm gonna die here, but that was a very strange <laughs> invasion. That's for damn sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was that was quick. Um, I have absolutely no fucking idea what the hell was going on there. Sometimes the game glitches up like that. That was that was kind of cool though. It, it, <laughs> it's kind of a dick move. Uh, to summon people for PvP. Or not summon people, but make yourself human for PvP. This requires a little bit of back explanation, I suppose. What it looks like that guy is doing, obviously he's beaten Ornstein and Smo. Uh, but what he's doing is like hosting a phantom. So summoning a phantom. And then summoning a, a white. Sorry, summoning a white phantom and then hoping to get invaded. So maybe he gets to like host invasions. But then he's just ganking people 2v1, which is kind of cheap, but oh well. The other thing that he might be doing is summoning people for the boss fight that turns Anna Orlando... I don't know. I, I guess I can't say with authority that that guy was being a little bit cheesy, but... One thing's for sure. Things are certainly weird in the world of Dark Anna Orlando there. We'll try another invasion here. We might as well keep it up, and of course I will see you guys after the magical power of editing. Alright, here we go. Another invasion. Let's go back to our default equipment. Light and Orlando, please. Dark and Orlando is handing me my ass. I would really love to know what was going on with those two guys just standing there. Like, they look like hosts, but they, like, weren't moving. But they also weren't ghosts. Okay, regular and Orlando. This is cool. Hopefully this guy doesn't disconnect. Boom come! What's up, buddy? Uh, I remember you from the first video, or first invasion. There he is. Okay, I'm gonna try to drop some items for this guy. Because I feel bad about invading him over and over. So let's get some cracked red eye orbs. He's gonna summon some phantoms, which is cool. Let's drop some drop four cracked red eye orbs out here. And he can pick those up. We'll wait for him to come. I should probably try to get him to come out here. There we go. Okay. Pick up this item, bro. I'm not trying to trick you, I promise. I don't know how I can show that I'm not trying to trick him. A bow? Okay. He's gonna try to throw poop at me, it looks like? Or is that a prism stone? I don't know what the- it was a poison knife?! Boom come you dickhole! Pick up the treasure! I gave you some cracked red eye orbs, man! I hope he doesn't consider this to be a taunt, but this is for you, man! I'll wave to him too. Pick up the treasure! There's a treasure on the floor. I'll come over here. <laughs> what are you doing? Pick up the treasure! Come here, come here. I'm like making motions with my hands like he can see them, but he can't. Come here, pick up the treasure. Fine, fuck you, Boomcom. I'm gonna end your fucking life right here, buddy. 
You deserve this. I'm trying to be a nice guy. You're getting, you're bringing the enemies into yourself. Oh my god, please take a second to heal. I don't want to kill you like this. This is fucking disgraceful. Don't try to heal! I'm trying to be a nice guy here. That Silver Knight is going to kill you, man. You don't even see it coming. He's going to come into your fucking bonfire room. What are you going to do when that happens? Fucking asshole. Okay, congratulations. You killed the Silver Knight. Now come out here and pick up this item that I gave to you. Oh my fucking god. It's like pulling teeth. You guys have never been invaded before, so they don't understand. Whatever. Just fucking ruin him, I guess. He tried to attack me through the wall. What a cheesy dickhole. Alright, how about you attack me first and then I'll just backstab you. Are we just gonna circle around each other? We're gonna play this old song and dance? Wow, it actually hurt like a motherfucker. Now, I can just roll out of the way. <laughs> There's fucking spam pyromancy at him. When you fight guys like this, there's so many options you have for what to do. Like, one attack means that this guy basically has to uh, use an Estus Flask. Does like 190 damage to him. I mean, his attack is going through my shield a little bit. Cool beans, bro. Nice heal. But I don't know why he keeps spamming that heavy attack. It's not doing a whole lot for him, except making him, like, easy to hit. And, of course, even if this fight starts to go poorly, I can just pop a humanity. Oh, he backstabbed me through the front! <laughs> he killed me! Oh my god, I can't believe I lost that invasion. There is no excuse for that. Boomcom, you're still a dick for not picking up that item. I'm just trying to be a nice guy. But I will say though, one thing I used to like to do is I would put down an item uh, and then when they went over to pick it up, I would like bow and everything. When they went over to pick it up, I would pull out my dark hand and R2 them with it, or uh, you know, like right trigger them with it, and it would steal their active humanity. So I guess maybe his uh, reticence is understandable. Let's do some more invasions. That one was actually kind of fun. It felt like a slightly more even match, even though I'm, I'm pretty sure I should have won that. Oh, we got another invasion. Silver Knight, back off for a second. Hopefully it's boom come again. I mean, the guy's obviously still human. So, maybe. And I appreciate it, Dark Souls, for putting me into another evasion right away, because I hate doing editing. So this helps me out a lot. I appreciate that. Alright, Light and Orlando. Good sign. Boom come. Awesome, let's do this. Boom come, I really want to give you an item, man. But, I... You know, I kind of just want you to die as well. <laughs> You've kind of fucked with me enough. Yeah, go fucking heal. Here comes the life hunt scythe. Good fucking luck, buddy. I didn't have any stamina left to roll. That is an embarrassing mistake on my part. He's gonna go heal, obviously. Or try, anyway. But obviously he's so slow because of his equipment. I can just, uh, kite him around. He's gotta know he's on the ropes already. But, you know, he does have a, a decent strategy, which is basically go for a backstab, because that's maybe his only way to win, but he can basically one-shot me with a backstab, but he's done. Yeah. Fuck you, Boomcom. What's wrong, buddy? What's wrong? I don't have the well what is it gesture, so I have to do that. Again, I don't feel bad about killing this guy. He's like level 60. I tried to give him some items. You can suck my D, bro. So, I have now successfully defeated... One person, twice, in these invasion videos. It really makes it seem like I'm horrible at this. I usually have like a 50% success rate. I've been invading some pretty good people. I actually do feel kind of bad for killing Boomcom again because, like, every time I kill him, he loses a humanity. Every time I die, I lose literally nothing. So this guy might just be trying to beat the boss. And can't seem to get it done. Alright, let's just kill the Silver Knight. Start the invasion process all over again. Chug some Estus. Hopefully we'll find someone quick that is in light and Orlando. Alright, another invasion here. Hopefully, I don't know if I want it to be boom come or I don't want it to be boom come. He seems like a nice guy, I guess. Uh, maybe a little bit... I shouldn't say that on camera. I was going to say maybe a little bit slow. He's probably just inexperienced in Dark Souls. Kind of expected him to send me a message, but he hasn't yet. Dark and Orlando, my fucking favorite. Alright. 
Rob Job 09. So we're playing against a three year old. There's no reason this door should be closed unless he's in here. Oh god! <laughs> oh, so they basically just summoned me for a fucking gang rape. Dick move, motherfuckers. Oh my god, what are they hitting me with? Rob Job, your shenanigans have been captured on camera. What is this? What is happening? Oh my god. That was some of the biggest Dark Souls rape I've ever seen in my entire life. Nice dance. Looks like you're jerking your sword off. You deserve all the hate mail you get. Dick move, guys. Dick move. <laughs> they closed the door. Alright, that is kind of funny. I'll give them that. And unfortunately, I'll probably end up invading them again after I get my blood stain. We'll see. So let's go back here. I think I got summoned right around here. Backstab this guy. Oh, there it is. Perfect. So we'll try our invasion orb again. And you know, we might do one or two invasions. This has been pretty good so far. I would love to beat somebody who isn't that one guy over and over. But this is fine. Alright, this might be our last invasion. I might do one more, depending on this. if this is another just like straight up gank that these guys are pulling off. I can see why that would be fun though. Like, as much as I'm disparaging of that, definitely something I would have been into when I was, you know, younger. Less honorable, let's put it that way. Benzene 3. Alright, this is a guy that pretty much butt fucked us before. I don't think I've won a fight in Dark Anne Orlando tonight. Uh, this might have been the guy with those two weird dudes in the... in the hallway. Probably in here, because there's no reason for this door to be closed. Well, they've definitely come through here, then. One thing you should notice right now is that I keep invading, like, basically the same people over and over, or multiple times. What's going on in here? It is, like, noon on a Wednesday, so I'm guessing there's not a huge amount of foot traffic through N Orlando right now. So that would explain why I'm getting the same guys over and over. Okay, there's a white phantom. And there's the host. I don't really know what to do. I I'm going to try to take these guys out, but I don't have a lot of... Oh, God! <laughs> oh, that'll do it, won't it? Oh, you fucking dicks. All right, we'll do one more, because that was a damn embarrassment. I, I, I hate... I know I mentioned in an earlier video, that first invasions video, when you're, uh, when you're invading, all, thing, all rules are off for the host. I'm pretty, the host should do anything they can to win because they're just trying to beat the boss. This is the one fucking exception. When you deliberately turn human or you know, summon people using the red sign soapstone for like 3v1s, that is a dick move. Because like, you're not in that much danger at all. You're basically just summoning people to get murdered by three of your friends, which is kind of shitty to do. I mean, normally, if I'm 1v, 1v3ing with a host, that's totally fine because I know that they're trying to like beat the boss. If they're in light and Orlando, uh, and they're like, you know, struggling, or they have Solaire or something, or they have one of their own friends with them, or just a random summon phantom, again, fine, because like dark, or light and Orlando can be difficult your first few times through it. But, if you're in dark and Orlando and you're just summoning people from team ganks, that's a dick move. Where's the challenge in that? See, I'm challenging myself. I suck. <laughs> and, uh, you know, every invasion is an adventure for me, which I prefer. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Benzene 3, I hope you die in a car fire and everyone you ever loved despises you. Let's start our next invasion. Alright, this will be our last invasion of the day, gang rape or not. And, you know, you might think that with all this editing, I've actually cut some invasions out. Probably should have, because not a lot of them turned out that fantastic, but I wanted to give you an accurate sample of how an invasion goes. Or how a night of invading goes, and this is, uh, pretty much how it goes, with the exception I normally don't get just, like, team ganked this much. Brock Temp, okay, I think this is a new guy, so I'm gonna give him a chance. To probably prove to me that he's gonna fuck me. Fuck, 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 probably said fuck more than any other video I've ever done. Except for maybe a poison mushroom, who knows. So we're gonna go to the Great Hall. I'm going to join the Great Hall. And hopefully, we're not gonna get... Oh. 
Hey, naked dude. How's it going? I don't want to just, like, stab you. Is there another dude, like, right in front of him? Are we just partying here? What is up with these guys? I guess we'll shrug. And then... Yeah, okay, so they're just gonna be blocking the way. Which is pretty shitty. Which means we can't even get to the Great Hall. I think. Oh, wait, what's... What, what's going on here? What are you doing, man? Alright, I'll, I'll follow you. Kind of confused as to what you're looking at or what the heck is going on here. Uh, what about your friend? Iron Tarkus over here. Tarkus! <laughs> Please! Tarkus, I would, I would need you to move, man. Alright, you know what? This is... Oh my god! What is going on? Well, I'm thoroughly confused. I think that's pretty much gonna do it for this video of invasions. Um, these guys are kind of scaring the shit out of me. Not sure what's up with that, but as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. What a weird invasion there.